what we do when we're looking for stuff for a Poshmark. Hobby Lobby but the stuff that I got from Hobby Lobby is for a DIY project so I'll show that when I do the DIY project okay so this is currently the wall that I film on and except my backdrop is up right now but um I think I'm gonna move my vanity from all wheels dialysis stuff I think I'm gonna move my vanity from this wall to this wall just because the plain white background it annoys Will and I don't really like seeing it when I'm editing so I'm going to flip it around and see if a little bit of color in my background will make things look a little better I just can't have it against the solid blue wall because as you can see the light just reflects in my ring light it just it doesn't look good so I'm going to have to put something on this wall just finished and I moved the vanity over here to this wall and I like it I'll just you know have to see how it looks when I when I film but I don't think it's that bad I just put the rug outside to dry and now a summer shower decided to just come along so I need to go save the rug so that it actually dries Hey everyone, today is Sunday. Um, we just kind of ran around town yesterday and we are on our way to town again. But I just realized I never showed y'all what all I hauled yesterday from thrifting and Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to have to do that when we get back from town. But we just need a few things for the house, um, you know, detergent, toothpaste, things like that. So we're going to run to Walmart and maybe go see if there is anything new in Dirt Cheap. Okay, so we just left Dirt Cheap. I got a lot of good stuff. I even got some stuff for a giveaway, but I'll do a haul when we get home. And now we're about to run into the grocery store and then Walmart. So we got a little more running around to do, but I'll check in. Okay, so we just pulled up to Walmart. Okay, so we're in Walmart and they're already marking down their swimsuits. So check your Walmart if you're looking for a cheap swimsuit because my Walmart already has all the swim stuff on clearance. Okay, so these cups are at Walmart. They're, this, they're just these spherical cups. I think they're so cute, but Will thinks they're ugly. And they're insulated on the inside. So, should I get it? Should I not? Okay, so we just got in from town. Quick little grocery haul. Powdered sugar. I like to have it around for beignets. Some pure cane sugar. Some Mont Tots apple juice. 
I like the Tots version because it's more watered down. Will thinks I'm crazy for liking it, but um, just some garlic basil Italian dressing. Some orange citrus vinaigrette. Cranberry juice. Some sweet and sour sauce. Some poblano and corn salsa. And we'll pick these up. These are some Velveeta cheesy potatoes. I absolutely hate Velveeta, but Will likes cheesy potatoes. Just some ballpark hot dogs. Some liver cheese. This is for my grandparents. We don't eat liver cheese, but they love liver cheese, so I'll pick it up when I see it. Some guacamole because I'm planning on cooking chicken nachos soon. Some ginger beer. Will loves ginger beer. A pecan pie because who doesn't like pecan pie? Um, a ham steak. That's something else Will picked up. I hate ham. Some toothpaste. We all, this is the kind we always get, the crust bacon soda and peroxide. I found some of my favorite, favorite impressed press on nails on clearance for $3. And this is just a really cute design that I've never seen. Pink and purple iridescent. Some of the patterns on there do look more fake than others. A Milani Amore Matte liquid lipstick. I picked this up for a giveaway. Some French bread, more sugar, more sugar, some queso, some jalapenos for nachos, some yeast, and just some restaurant style chips for nachos. Okay, so we just got back from Walmart, and I'm going to show y'all everything that I already showed y'all, all the groceries that we got, but I want to show y'all everything that I got from Dirt Cheap and the stuff that I got from thrifting yesterday. This is how I rearranged my stuff yesterday. I know I showed y'all a little bit, but tell me what you think in the comments below about if y'all like this kind of vanity background setup. I know, like I said, you can still see the glare that my ring light puts on the wall. Um, just let me know your thoughts. Do you think I should put something on the wall? Is this too much? Do you like this new setup? Just let me know what you like if you'd rather me do this, change this up, or just go back to my solid white backdrop. But we just got back from town. Um, let's, I'm just going to start with what I got today and then show y'all what I got yesterday. I picked up this really, really cute... All the stuff that I'm showing y'all right now is from Dirt Cheap. I picked up this really, really cute... It's like... It's black glitter, but in it there's flecks of pink and blue and gold. It's really, really pretty. I picked this up because I'm starting to collect stuff for a back-to-school giveaway. I'm going to be doing a back-to-school giveaway in August. So make sure you're subscribed so that you stick around for that giveaway. But while I saw school stuff coming out, I just figured, hey, let me pick this up. Like I said, I'm going to be adding a lot more to it. Okay, next thing, the next thing that I picked up was this super, super cute... I know it's probably backwards on camera, but it is an S. It's an S decor hanger. I got this from Dirt Cheap again. This is really, really cute. It has that kind of metal vibe. And this was... It doesn't say. This was a dollar. This was a dollar. I know not everybody has Dirt Cheaps in their area, but... um. I know I've seen them in Mississippi and I've heard people say that they have them in Texas so I'm not really sure dirt cheap it's basically it's similar to an Ollie's if you have Ollie's like in Baton Rouge we have both Ollie's and dirt cheap it's basically a discount store okay. 
Okay, this next thing is something that I also picked up for a giveaway. I want to do a really big giveaway when I hit either 50 or 100 subscribers. I'm not too sure yet. So make sure you subscribe and you get all your friends to subscribe so that we can have this giveaway. And it's just the Color Workshop Radiant Blush and Highlight Palette. Really, really cute. Um, I've never tried anything from Color Workshop, but it looks like... I know it's in plastic and I can't take it out because it's for a giveaway. But it's really, really pretty if you're into kind of pinks and iridescent highlights. Comes with a cute, um, looks almost like a hard metal case and even this little pink brush. Super, super cute. So this will be in my giveaway. Okay, the next thing that I picked up was this cute little graphic tee. I love graphic tees, especially in the summer because they're just so simple. You can pair them with shorts, jeans, dress them up, dress them down. And, oh. and this shirt was only $1.60. And it just says I got it from my mama. Super cute little. It's um, Modern Luxe is the brand. But it's super, super cute. I know everything's going to be backwards because I'm not flipping around the camera right now. Okay, the next two things I was super, super shocked to see at Dirt Cheap. But they are just blue jean shorts from Universal Thread. These are brand new shorts, y'all. Of course, not, not, all this, ugh, not all the stuff that comes to Dirt Cheap is used. A lot of it is just stuff that, you know, didn't sell at Target or wherever, and it gets marked down. And sometimes stuff will have a flaw, but it's basically a big box version of, like, TJ Maxx, Marsh Rossles, Marsh Rosses, something like that. But um, these are just um, some Universal Thread Dark Wash Blue Jean Shorts. It'll pair cute with the shirt that I just showed you. Really, really cute. And, y'all, these were only $2.50. Okay, the next thing that I picked up from Dirt Cheap is another pair of Universal Thread Shorts. And these are in a light cream colored, I wouldn't say they're fully white, but more of an off-white cream color. And they have a little bit of distressing along the bottom, as you can see. And again, $2.50. $2.50. And the way, if you've never been to Dirt Cheap, you probably see all these weird tags hanging from my stuff. Dirt Cheap letters all their stuff, and each letter, I mean it has a price, but each letter correlates with the discount that you get. If you've been to Dirt Cheap, you know. If not, basically, it's a discount code. Okay, that's everything that I picked up today. I already showed you all the stuff from Walmart earlier. Now I'm going to show you all the stuff from yesterday. Um, yesterday, we went to St. Vincent de Paul, and I'll show you all that stuff first because I only picked up one thing. And it's this super, super cute one-piece, I want to say it's Rue Blue. Yes, Rue Blue. It is Rue 21 plus size swimsuit. One piece, really, really super cute and pretty. Pretty um, baby blue and cotton candy pink paisley print. And it has the solid striping, so that makes a bit of pattern blocking or color blocking to make you look slimmer in the stomach area. Really nice and padded. And I'm going to put post this on Poshmark this week. So if you like this swimsuit, it'll be on my Poshmark. Everything that I'm about to show y'all now, we got from yard sailing yesterday. And I didn't really get footage yard sailing because when we go yard sailing to source for Poshmark, I'm not really like in a place where I can just because, you know, I'm like in the zone of looking for Poshmark. But everything that I'm about to show y'all will be posted on my Poshmark this week for sale. So if you see anything that you like, go ahead and get it. And I didn't show it yesterday because I like to clean everything really good first because you got it from a yard so you know you don't know what was on it or what it touched so I just like to clean all my stuff before I show it so this first piece if I can get the you know hanger lines up this is just a White House black market tank top and it has a nice print V cut in the front super super pretty a mix of two different patterns you know basic black and white a little crisscross in the back 
super super cute white house black market is a more dressier brand that sells pretty well for me on poshmark so anytime i see it i like to pick it up okay the next thing is this life is good brand and it just says old guy it's a basic gray shirt if you own anything from the um life is good brand they are a brand that sells really really good and they're typically solid color shirts that just say something odd or um description like on the front again another brand that sells really good on poshmark okay this next shirt is plus size and it, it's a aragonal style tee that says all I need is a little bit of coffee and a whole lot of Jesus navy blue and white ragnall super cute um this is printed on here it's not vinyl so that'll be on Poshmark and ragnall tees are really on trend especially going into fall they tend to make a comeback sometimes people pair them in summer with shorts but I personally like them more for fall Okay, the next thing that we got is just this long sleeve Under Armour Under Armour turtleneck style top. Again, I pick up sportswear constantly because it does well for me on Poshmark. And Under Armour is one that you could price a little bit higher than normal on Poshmark. Okay, this next thing was the first thing I found at the yard sale yesterday. No, it was the second thing I found. Um, I found shoes first. But this is the first piece of clothing that caught my eye yesterday at the yard sale. And this is just a pair of the North Face Capris. These are a size 12. These are so lightweight and perfect for summer. They are polyester though. So keep that in mind if you want to purchase them. North Face logo sewn in the pant. Really, really cool find. It's very rare that you find higher-end brands like North Face at yard sales. So we definitely had to pick these up yesterday. Okay, this is another one that I'm super excited about because mini skirts do really well for me on Poshmark, especially with summer approaching. And it's just hot. I know, like, it rained here this morning, and now it is so humid. Like, it's just sticky, nasty, humid. If you're from... Louisiana you know what kind of humidity I'm talking about but just the kind where you just feel gross just from going outside because it's so humid okay this is just a little old navy mini skirt super super cute and there's a little bit of embellishment bedazzle in the back pocket I don't know if they bought it like that or if somebody just put that on there it does not look like it was done by an individual so old navy probably sold it like this but again, blue jean, start, blue jean skirts sell really good. This one is a size zero. And blue jean skirts are something that you could price pretty affordable if you get a deal on them. And all this stuff we got for $5. All these clothes, filter bag for $5 at a yard sale. That's why I really, really recommend, you know, if you want to start a little side hustle, start Poshmark. You can use my code and sign up. That gives you an instant $5 just for signing up using my code. I don't get anything from it but you do and all you do you know clean out your closet go to yard sales and you can make some quick money and literally all you have to do is pack it and ship it Poshmark sends you the label you don't have to worry about anything like that this next thing was another exciting find because again you know athletic wear does good on Poshmark and this is just a Priyana workout top in a gorgeous like turquoise blue Crisscross in the back with the Priyana logo. Really, really good, thick, nice material. Okay, this next piece really, really excited me just because of the print. It's a brand that I'm going to have to do research on because I've never sold this brand before. But it is a men's printed polo. How cool is that? With all the colors and the anchors and flags and rope and summer being right around the corner, this is something that will definitely sell. Again, I have to do my research first to see exactly how much I could post it for. But I think this is so cool. I definitely think this will move. Okay, another thing that people tend to really like on Poshmark is graphic tees or any kind of like vintage worn looking tees. And I picked this up, this is just a USC graphic shirt. 
pretty good condition. So, and it's an extra large. Bigger sizes are something that sell really, really good on Poshmark. Any larger sizes, any plus sizes sell like hotcakes on Poshmark. Okay, the next thing was another good find because it was brand new with tag. And it's really, I really like to sell stuff if it has a tag because you can get a little more for it. This is just a burgundy off the shoulder little ruffle bodysuit from Francesca's. And it has the double button clasp. Bodysuits sell really, really good for me. And especially with it being summer, bodysuits are just selling good in general. People want something easy when they're getting dressed and ready. Okay, the next thing that I have, this was the first thing I saw because it caught my eye. Will and I went to Trash and Treasures in Baton Rouge, which is like a, a huge charity thing. Like a huge charity yard sale, basically. And um, they had a pair of Chinese laundry laundry silver metallic oxfords and i didn't get them because they were twenty dollars and a lot of times you know y'all know i've done been honest with y'all about how much i like to sell stuff on poshmark and how much i'm willing to spend i wasn't gonna buy a pair of twenty dollar shoes that i could only turn around and make a twenty dollar profit on just being completely honest so when i saw these and we were able to put them in our little five dollar bundle at the yard sale yesterday i had to grab them they're not nearly as nice as the chinese laundry ones but I'll, I'll just show y'all the Chinese laundry ones. These are what the Chinese laundry ones looked like. Really thick, nice Oxfords. Well, they had these at the yard sale yesterday. How cute are these? If these weren't, I want to say they're a seven or a seven and a half. Yeah, these are a seven. If they were of my size, a nine and a half, I would 100% be keeping them. They are so nice. They they look like they've never been worn. They're a tan color lace up, same Oxford style with a nice thick sole, really on trend for summer right now. Now, they do feel they feel like a cheap shoe. You know, they're very lightweight. They're not comparable to the Chinese laundry at all when it comes to quality. But if you want something cute and dressy. I'm going to have these on my Poshmark. I'm going to see, you know, how much I can get for them first. So I can't tell y'all price right now. But these are so, so cute. I'll actually probably post these on both my Poshmark and my Mercari. Because shoes tend to sell better for me on Mercari than they do on Poshmark. But if you are interested in these, definitely be check following me on both Poshmark and Mercari. So that you can grab them when I post them. Because I just, they are just too cute. Love these. Okay, and the last thing we picked up from the yard sale yesterday, again, this was one that I grabbed because I myself would wear them, and they are just the X Appeal brand, and again, I think these are another seven and a half. I don't, the lady that was having the yard sale yesterday must have been a seven and a half. Yeah, they're seven and a half. Super, super cute, just leopard print flats. Leopard is really on trend right now for spring, so if you're looking for an animal print, go for leopard this spring really really cute and the soles of these are actually in really nice condition too looks like she didn't put too much wear on them a lot of the times people on Poshmark love to ask for pictures of the soles which I mean isn't a bad thing they want to know how worn out the shoes are again these are another barely worn pair and I'm just going to show y'all while I have it here we didn't get these from Poshmark these are Will only got to wear these one time and now they don't fit in so he's putting them on Poshmark. And these are just really, really cute. They're Brooklyn Express. Gray men's shorts, longer Bermuda style. And they just have little navy, well, more black than navy um, sailboats on them. He wants to put these on Poshmark because they don't fit him anymore. So, but that's everything from town today and from yard selling yesterday so now we're gonna get back into the rest of the vlog and see what else i'm doing today okay so i just wanted to take y'all in front of the window with some natural light and tell y'all about this foundation that i'm wearing today it's the dermablend professional flawless creator multi-use liquid pigment and i don't like it um tell me your thoughts in the comments below I feel like it is exaggerating my pores and making me look a little too white. I know I could easily switch the shade, 
but it does leave a flawless finish like my face looks pretty good right now but um I, I feel like it's just exaggerating stuff that it shouldn't like these two breakouts that I have right here and also these breakouts are from the Equates version of Cetaphil. I told you I was testing that right now and it is making me break out like crazy. I have another one right here and right here. So I definitely won't be repurchasing Great Values version of Cetaphil. I'll purchase the name brand Cetaphil because my skin is not liking it. So while my skin was already breaking out, I figured I'd try a brand new foundation. And um, yeah, so. Okay, so I walked into the kitchen to get some ice and this is what I see. Four empty ice trays sitting on the counter. This is one of my kitchen pet peeves. The ice is not going to just appear. These trays have to be filled up and put back in the freezer. This is a huge kitchen pet peeve of mine. If you use the last ice cube, run it under the sink, stick it back in the freezer. It irks me so much. Okay, so now that I found some ice, I was about to sit down and watch TV on Hulu and the first thing that popped up on my, you know, keep watching was Paradise Hotel. Are y'all watching Paradise Hotel? What are y'all's thoughts on it? Because I'm going to be honest with you, I did a huge rant on Twitter about it. Um, not that I just use Twitter to rant, but Twitter is where I'm most active as far as my social media. And it's just, it does not, it's like a wannabe bachelor in paradise. Paradise Hotel, in my opinion, is even more scripted than Bachelor in Paradise. I get it, they're both scripted, you know, find love on the beach type of shows. And you know, it could also have something to do with Kristen Cavallari. I've never liked her since, like, how she was portrayed back on Laguna Beach in the hills. Okay, Will came in and distracted me. Um, yeah, Paradise Hotel, what are your thoughts on it? I mean, there are times when it grabs my attention, it's like, ooh, you know, drama. But then it's like, I don't know. I'm not sure, not really sure how I feel about it. You know, like I said, maybe if they had someone else different hosting it. But, I don't know. What are your thoughts on Paradise Hotel? I'm just, I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. Okay, so we just had dinner. I'm showered. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and wrap up the vlog here. That way it can be up for you all tomorrow, which will be Monday when you see it. Um, I'll try to vlog throughout the week. I'm not really going to promise anything because I never really know what's going to come up. And I want to make sure, you know, y'all aren't just seeing me sit around the house type of thing. So if anything good comes up this week, I'll definitely be sure to vlog for you all. But thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Thank you all so much. Bye.